so chapter 18 so part d you know you must remember the mummy boy right some of you may be mummy boys or may not be or you pretend not to be now <laughs> right mummy boy and he got married and now he has to please his wife and as well as his uh, his mom so he decided to take his wife his kids wife no no his kids uh, mother and his own mother to turn to Niagara Falls and uh, so when he took them there you know when you go to Niagara Falls what they do they give you plastic mom jama right poly right and you wear it and you get into a big boat and when the when the boat reached near the Niagara Falls Niagara Falls is so big so the boat started dangling and now this mummy boy looks into his uh, wife's eyes right and says honey you know if this boat becomes a titanic you know titanic right mm. titanic so to whom should i save so should i save you or my mom he looks into his eyes at her eyes he said no actually actually she asked him so sh so she asked him you know if this boat become titanic to whom you gonna save you gonna save me or you gonna save mm -hmm. your mom and he said Pagwan, nah, I'll save you he said don't don't worry don't worry about me you just save your mom I <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> so our reach was <laughs> in Toronto. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dan now here, right? Sorry. So we go to the uh, question number 11, right? <laughs> Listed below is one of the most important powers given to municipal council in regulating the subdivision of land. So we're talking about a subdivision. So you can highlight subdivision. So whenever we subdivide the property, what do we do? We need to provide the services, right? We need to, we don't provide them a cable system. We provide them the sewer system, the hydrant, fire hydrant, right? And as if you go to the question number, uh, if you go to the question number four, uh, sorry, answer number four, they may require that highway of prescribed standard be provided as well as street lighting so you can highlight lighting underground wiring you can highlight that and you can also write beside sewer sewer system s e w e r common drainage and you can also write in a fire hydrant fire hydrant so you don't need to provide them the cable system cable system only comes when the when the building comes right so basically so whenever we do the subdivide Whenever we subdivide the property, we provide all the services. Okay? So it's number four. It mostly comes in. Then we go to the question number 12, which is not an example of a zone one might encounter in a zoning by law. So how it not? Whenever we sell a property being a realtor, what do we sell? We sell a residential property, commercial property, industrial property, but we don't sell a school school zone. Right? So, so school zone is wrong. It says a commercial zone, industrial zone, agriculture zone, and third is school zone. School give you one mark basically. So it's number three. Then we go to the question number 17, I think. Yeah. The Local Government Act creates three, level, uh, three different levels of local law. Which of the following is not one of these levels of local law? So I'll add not. So there are three levels. Number one is the regional district. It's quite big. So regional district, how many districts are there? Number of, right? So regional district is a bigger circle basically. It's a bigger circle. Then in that circle, there's a municipality. So you can draw one big circle, then you draw one more circle, right? That is a municipality. Then you draw one more smaller circle, right? And that is a local improvement district what you don't find is the local enterprise zone it has nothing to do here so there are only three levels one is regional district you can add 
you can write on one regional district number two is the municipality just like a sorry municipality right Vancouver municipality and the third is the local improvement district there is no where local enterprise zone <coughs> yeah yeah greater Vancouver right yeah so basically so this is a very important question okay so it's number two yeah which of the following is not then we go from there to question number 18 which of the following statements concerning government regulations or privately owned land is a true number one the provincial government and the federal government together have legislative authority over most privately owned land in Canada that's wrong number two the provincial government have delegated their authority over privately owned land to local government that's true highlight delegated but in says at present they retain no authority so circle no makes it wrong they still have authority do you understand right local government has no power and the powers are delegated to, to them by the provincial government but they still have the power they say they still now they retain no authority no makes it uh, wrong okay and then we go to third local government derive mean takes their powers to regulate mean control privately owned land use from the provincial government and may only exercise mean use the specific power delegated to them so that's true local government has no power whatever powers are given to them by the provincial government they can only use those powers that's true and uh, Fourth, in BC, all local government derive their authority to control privately owned land use from the Local Government Act. So, which one should be then? It's number three. Okay. And then we go to the question number. Yeah, 19. But before we do that, we say bye bye.